When Pro Skater 5 was announced, I rejoiced in the idea of the Tony Hawk games going back to what made them so great. No more gimmicks, just classic Tony Hawk with long combos, straightforward missions, and a soundtrack to jam out to. And for the most part, those things are here in Pro Skater 5, but developer Robomoto has left a lot to be desired. The fact that this is Pro Skater 5 implies exactly what you think. This is a direct sequel to the main series. The game focuses on the classic gameplay and mission format. Free roaming in a skate park, picking up the skate letters, or a combo, finding the hidden VHS and DVD, what you'll mostly find yourself doing is timed challenges. These can range from a number of different things. Something as simple as getting a high score, or keeping your head from exploding by pulling off great combos. The variety is pretty decent at first glance until you unlock more levels and find yourself playing the exact same ones over and over. They really are just recycled for every level, albeit more challenging, but having played them over and over, you adapt to them pretty quickly. Assuming you get the highest score possible on the challenges, you can rank up and improve the stats of your skater. You'll also be unlocking a myriad of goodies ranging from new outfits to boards. There's no shortage of things to do or unlock, if you really do take the time to go for everything. You just likely won't, because not only can the missions be repetitive, but you'll also be finding yourself jumping over the game's largest hurdles, and that's technical issues. There's no doubt about it, this game was likely rushed to market, and it has an insane number of bugs everywhere. Frame rate drops, slow loading textures, no textures at all, invisible traps, dead zones, the list goes on. Perhaps my biggest issue was consistently restarting missions due to a technical issue that ruined my time sensitive run. And when the entire game is time sensitive, it gets old pretty fast. You can play this game online, and it really encourages you to do so with leaderboards and in game invites, but I would never do it. Playing this game online only adds to the technical issues, and realistically, when you do play online, the benefit isn't really all that apparent. A big portion of this game is the park builder, where you can build, upload, and play other people's parks. The very idea of that excites me until you find this portion of the game to be heavily restricted, mostly because the park building caps you off rather quickly when you want to put stuff in it. So trying to build anything complex is basically off limits, which is a shame because that kind of reserves you to basic layouts, which the main game already gives you. And this is evident when you look at levels that are currently uploaded, which is also a pain to use and it offers really no intuitive way to find or play the levels themselves. But the one element here that really bothers me is just how silly and overly simple the game is. The Tony Hawk franchise and even Pro Skater has never been shy to silly elements. The game always features lots of weird characters and tricks, but the addition of flaming skateboards and wing upgrades feel really out of place here especially when they have a direct impact on how the game is played, and how the missions work. Now some of them work pretty well, but most of the time I'm thinking, this is odd, why did they add this stuff? I'm also questioning why the special meter is here. There's no more special tricks in this game that require actual skill to pull off. Just build up this meter, and turn it on to an unleash an auto Jesus skater that does all of these things for you. It's also worth mentioning the visuals are underwhelming. Of course, Tony Hawk is a game that never really needed pretty graphics, but it's a bit disappointing when you realize games like Tony Hawk's Project 8 on PlayStation 3 looked much better, and we're on PlayStation 4 now. When all is said and done, there is one underlying thing that I haven't gotten to yet, and that's that I was still actually enjoying the game despite all of its issues. I still played a lot of it. Maybe it's because I was craving a classic Tony Hawk game and I took anything I could get. Maybe it was the soundtrack, which by the way is very good. Whatever it was, I was still able to enjoy this game for a bit. But that's not good enough. We don't buy games to enjoy some of it, we want the whole package. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 does not deliver.